I think anybody with half a brain can tell that DC Comics, a.k.a. Dead Company, is in a lot of trouble. They keep pumping out Batman book after Batman book after Batman book. That's all they make now. <laughs> a bunch of Batman books. It's the only thing that cracks the top 50. Nobody cares about any of their other characters. The only characters that people care about at DC Comics are Batman and Batman family characters. That's the only thing that makes the top 50. Other than Superman, Son of Kal-El, which has had quite a fall from grace, and I imagine will leave the top 50 soon enough. Nobody cares about any of their characters, and they've kind of done this themselves. They've really made a mess of their brand over the past few years. Well, actually, throughout the the course of the company, they've been all over the place with their continuity. But recently, it's it's gotten really bad. I don't want to get too into it, but, I mean, the evidence speaks for itself. I, I've done multiple videos on this. I'm just doing a little bit of a recap. What I want to talk about today is the breaking news that came out yesterday about how DC Comics is being evicted from their prime real estate and moved to a hot desk situation. Now, what does hot desk mean? Well, instead of having prime Warner Brothers real estate, which they had before in Burbank, they are now moving to a shared office. They're going to have like a little office, and they have to share desks. So you ever seen the show The Office? Remember how they would have desks pushed together? Like Jim and Dwight were right next to each other, like their desks were. They're going to be like that at DC Comics now. Real big sign of a thriving company. When the parent company moves them from prime locations and says, we're going to use this space for something else and pushes them down the road into some shitty office building where they have to share desks. Doesn't that sound like the, the, like the, doesn't that sound like the sign of a thriving company? There's a reason that young Ripa dubbed them dead company. And it's because they're slowly swirling down the toilet. And this is just more evidence of that. I mean, what other, what can detractors and damage controllers of people that make fun of DC comics say about this? That it's more it's evidence that they're thriving? That they got moved to a shitty location? <laughs> they're in a lot of trouble. Let's read a little bit of this. I got the word over the past few weeks, DC Comics staff who had been working from home had been allowed into their Burbank headquarters building to retrieve their belongings, which they couldn't get at during the lockdowns. That they had been told that Warners was going to use this space for something else and that DC comics will no longer have access to these three floors of prime Warner brothers, real estate. So sad. So sad. There's a little bit more. So he says down here that he only had one source for this rumor. So he sat on it, but now a second source came through. And according to rich Johnston over at bleeding cool, the one guy that people do seem to uh, spill secrets to. Uh, they are now moving to somewhere else. Where that is, I don't know. But apparently there's pictures of staff picking up or packing up uh, their cubicles to move to the new DC building and confirming that they will now be working on a hot desk model in the new building building also known as shared workspace that indicates an office working environment in which people are not all in the office at the same time. So desks are not attributed to any one person. Any employee can sit down and use a desk as if that were their own. So you can have fewer desks than staff, which cuts costs in terms of office space and technology needs, but it can also cre create quite the soulless working envi environment devoid of personal quirks, which is why ad agencies that I have worked at, which have used this working model, also have thrown in table tennis, tennis tables. I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, the justification for this is that they worked so good during the pandemic that they no longer need that prime real estate office. So they're moving them down the road. 
that sounds like bullshit to me. Uh, there's one thing that's happened with DC. If you remember, not that long ago, there was the bloodbath where pretty much a shitload of people, executives and, and such at, at DC Comics were given the axe. It was like a night of the long knives for DC Comics. It was cost-cutting. And now they're doing more cost-cutting for DC Comics. This is cost-cutting. They're taking them out of a prime real estate area and they're going to use it for something else, probably something that makes more money, that can be closer and is more needed to Warner Brothers. And they're taking this little brand that they don't really give a shit about and moving it down the road and cutting down the costs even more. And it's really easy to tell that they're running a model where they're desperate to try to make as much money as quickly as they can by looking at the comics they release. The fact that there's so many Batman books and there's so many more coming. Like I've done a couple of videos on, or at least one on the recent release. Like they got that, they've got two new Batman books coming out over the next two months. More Batman on top of all of this Batman. And there's a reason they're doing that is because they're trying to make as much money as they can off of the one cash cow they have. Imagine if if Spider-Man, if Marvel started to make like 40 Spider-Man books and cut down on all these other characters that are on this list. That would be a sign that something's going on with them. But they're still in their New York offices as far as I know. So uh, they're... They don't seem to be in any kind of trouble of losing anything. But DC Comics, I really can't say the same for. They're pumping out Batman book after Batman book. They had a lot of their staff pretty much uh, eliminated during the Night of the Long Knives. And now they're getting moved to some shitty little warehouse or wherever the hell they're getting moved to where they all have to share desks. But yeah, DC Comics are booming, doing well. <laughs> they're, they're doing terrible. It's obvious to anybody that's paying attention, but a lot of people out there want to run damage control. Any Anytime people make uh, any kind of news on how bad DC Comics is doing, they've got to run in and damage control. It's really sad trying to get that tote bag trying to get that tote bag of DC Comics goodies, which they probably can't even afford to send anymore. So, (laughs) I just, I think this is, it's funny, but it's also kind of sad. I don't know what's going to happen to DC Comics. I do think eventually they're just going to shut them down and license the books out. I mean, why not? Just let other people make them. Give, Give Warner some money, and they're done with them. But... That won't be anytime soon, as long as they keep making a little bit of money, which I think they're doing, and that's why they're pumping out 75,000 Batman books a month. I mean, if if fatigue ever says, they better make make damn sure they put the best people on all those Batman books so they just say, okay, these are so good, I got to keep reading them. Anyway, hilarious to me. Another big blow to Dead Company Comics, and I would imagine... There's going to be more cuts coming. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. Usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.